Lena Amakali, she's a trainee accountant, accountant at um, PwC, uh, training to be a chartered uh, accountant. Good afternoon to you, Magdalena, and uh, thank you for joining us here in 99. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. It is a huge pleasure to have you. Can you please tell us what is cybersecurity? All right. So cybersecurity is a topical issue at the moment. Mm -hmm. Has always been, but I think it is more topical now that we are facing these unprecedented times of COVID-19 with people having to work from home. Yeah. So basically, um, cybersecurity known also as computer security or information technology security is basically just the safeguarding and protection of our computer systems our networks and our data from malicious attacks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. the article the article that you that you that you forwarded to us um, you know refers to cyber threats organizations need to be aware of during covid-19 can you briefly elaborate on that all right. Um, so the article basically focuses on uh, three main threats, but there are a wide range of threats of out there. Mm -hmm. But so what we focus on, we focus on number one, what we call malware. So malware is basically um, it's a suspicious, uh, it's a it's a it's an intrusive uh, software that gets into your computer, right? So what happens is a type of malware that destroys your computer systems. So for example, to bring it closer to home, that would be a virus. Mm -hmm. So a virus is like a code or a software that then it, dis it disrupts the, and alters the way your computer functions. So usually, for instance, you would see that your, your files are just blank mm -hmm. or they are, they are corrupt. So then you know that there is then a virus in your computer, your information is destroyed, confidential information, sensitive and very important information, information is, yeah. is destroyed. So that is what we then call malware. Mm -hmm. Another one that we spoke about is phishing. So phishing is very common, yeah. and, <laughs> you know, because for instance, what, how phishing works is cyber criminals basically then use um, they use uh, fake communication. So what they usually use is fake emails. Mm -hmm. These emails will then um, convince you to open the email and uh, carry out the, the, instructions. the instructions. Yeah, And these instructions would be, for instance, provide us with your password. Mm. But if you know that your, your organization is not usually set up for you via email to provide them the password, then you know that this is very suspicious shady, and you need yeah. to report it immediately. Mm -hmm. So in your email icon, says usually in the toolbar, there is like an icon that says report phishing. Yeah. So I think when one then sees such a suspicious email, immediately you need to report it to avoid, you know, um, providing very sensitive information such as passwords or usernames. Yeah. And then the last one that we spoke about is ransomware. It comes from the name ransom <laughs> <laughs> because this is also another um, malicious software that they use to uh, corrupt uh, your computer. And then what happens is it will restrict access to the computer. So you can't get access, you can't work. And then if you don't provide them the money, because then what it means, you need to provide them a ransom yeah. of a certain amount of money. I think money. I've, I've experienced that before, you actually. Have? Someone actually emailed me once mm -hmm. um, and said, if, if I don't send them this amount of money, yeah. they, they, they were going to do something. Exactly. And I was actually panicking because I'm like, whoa, what, what does this guy have? I don't even know who this person and is. Imagine. How did you gain access to my, to my, to my phone, to How my computer? How did you get my email? Exactly. And so it was, like yeah, that. so I had to like really think about it and, and read through the email because it was in my spam actually. Yeah. And it was a ransomware. This, this person says, oh. you have to send me this amount right now or otherwise imagine. your things are going to be in exactly. the world. Exactly. So yeah. these are things that happen to us on a daily basis. Yeah. And these are things that we really need to be aware of. And, to cre and this is why we are here, and this is the reason for the article, is basically, basically to create awareness in that regard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and also, yeah, what is, what is VPN, uh, Magdalena, and how does lack of uh, VPN affect an organization? Okay, so how it works is normally when you are in an office, right, you are connected to your local area network. Yeah. But the moment now you are working remotely, you are basically using a public uh, public internet, which is not uh, protected. So how VPN then comes in, it secures your connection. So your browsing is then uh, protected. So even if you browse or you get exposed to malicious uh, websites at least your 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 browsing is protected now what happens is vpn can be automatically enabled or it can be manually enabled so the the best way i think to have it is to have your vpn automatically enabled so because employees are working from home they are likely to forget to yeah. enable vpn which secures your connections to private um 
uh, internet. So then VPN just secures your, your browsing to, you know, internet connections. Yeah. Yeah. What is, what is cyber security awareness and, and why is this so important, especially right now during these unprecedented times? Awareness is very important because if you are not aware of the risk, how do you mitigate the risk? The cyber risk can present very challenging operational uh, risks to entities. So it's very important that employees are aware of the risks that they are exposed to and they know how to mitigate those risks and avoid those risks. Mm -hmm. Like we spoke about phishing. If you are aware of phishing, you are able to respond to it accordingly. And that's why it's very important to create awareness. This can be created through training programs where we alert employees of the types of risks that they are exposed to and how to mitigate so, such risks. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's not just at an organizational level. It can be in your individual life, yeah. individual life as well. Yeah. So you could give, up, give out your credit card numbers your funds get access to, you know, and we don't want that. Mm. So awareness is very crucial. I think that, that that's also why I'm so I'm so skeptical about doing online shopping. Like that for me, it's, it's it's scary because now I put in all these details. I don't know what's happening, what's going to happen. And another thing also, I think it's very scary. And that's why you, these precautions need to be taken. Like you said, that you don't want to be in a position where you're losing important files of your company because of malware or because Absolutely. of you know ransomware. So it's all of these things that we have to be uh, mindful of, especially yeah. right now with you know a lot of things happening online right now yeah. um, as well. Can you also just tell us, uh, Magdalena, how does PwC um, assist in managing cybersecurity risks? Well, PwC, we are here to solve important problems yeah. in society and build trust in society. So what we do for our clients is we assess, we do uh, assess cybersecurity risk you know, assessment at our clients that they are exposed to in their respective industries. Mm. So if we are saying that for you to be cyber secure, you need to be aware of the risks. So we need to know the controls that are in place, yeah. you know, that you have in place to mitigate the risk of cyber. So we go in there, we ask the important questions. Do you carry out regular cyber security assessments? Because when you carry out uh, regular cyber security assessments, it means you assess and you identify the security weaknesses, the vulnerabilities that you could be exposed to. Yeah. How is your password management? Do you have complex, you know, complex password management in place? Do you create awareness? Mm. So when it comes to password, Passwords, for instance, are they changed regularly? How complex are they? Eight characters, perhaps, mm. minimum eight characters, alphanumeric, you know. And also another thing is business continuity in terms of business continuity and disaster recovery. Do you have backups in place? In, in, the, in the event of disruption, if something happens, yeah. what, what are, how are you going to come back? You mm. know, do you have controls in place? You nom do daily backups and all that. And another thing is we want to know, do you have training in place for employees? Are they aware of what they are exposed to? So PwC, we are all about, you know, assessing these risks and adding value where we yeah. need to. Would you then also recommend that, you, that someone should install an antivirus on, on, on their computer? Definitely. That is key. Mm. VPN antivirus, that is key to be secure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Marlena, thank you so much for, for talking to us. Thank and, you. And, uh, yeah, wishing to talk to you again soon. Uh, it was a great conversation about cybersecurity. Like I said, I am very skeptical and very careful yeah. with online things, especially passwords and, and things like that where people can really access your your stuff. And, you know, most of our things are on our phones nowadays. Definitely. Everything is on we your phone. We are in a technological yeah. era. We are moving towards that. We are already there. And I think the pandemic has forced us, you know, to, to be in these times. And we need to know what awaits us during these times. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you once again, um, Magdalena, for joining us. It was Thank a great you. chat. Thank awesome. you so much. <laughs> it is a pleasure to have you in the studio, Magdalena Amakali. That is, uh, she's a trainee accountant at PwC, training to be a chartered accountant. And we were discussing the importance of cybersecurity. If you missed out on the interview, you can always rewind on the app. MYD Smart was proudly sponsored by PwC Namibia, building trust in the Namibian business community.